What's up filmmakers? It's Justin Romine here, AKA J Row Films on Instagram. Today we are talking Da Vinci shortcuts. What are the top 10 Da Vinci shortcuts I use on a daily basis to speed up my editing workflow? Well, today I'm breaking them out to the world in this video. Let's go. Also, just so you know, we will be putting chapter time codes on each of these shortcuts so you can come back and reference this video later. First up is the Q and W shortcut. The Q will delete the section of the clip from the start of the clip to the playhead, and the W will delete the section of the clip from the end to the playhead. Number two, my H key I have set to ripple delete. What that's gonna do is it will delete the selected clip and move all the other clips down to fill in that empty slot. Think of it like the editing version for Tetris. Hey there, post-production Justin here, realizing I totally slipped and forgot number three, which is how to duplicate a clip simply. You can easily duplicate a clip by holding down option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and select on the clip, hold that down, drag it over, and boom, you're done. Number four, I have my F key sent to find clip. Having the playhead over the clip in the timeline and then tapping F will find that actual file for that clip in the media pool. Saves you a ton of time, I promise. It's kind of a running joke here at Red Creative Films. If somebody's like looking for this clip and they're going through the project bin, I just tell them to F it. Number five isn't really a hard line shortcut, but it is my render cache settings. You go to settings, master settings and scroll down to the optimized media and render cache. Now, if you're on a Mac, you wanna set your render cache to ProRes 422. And if you're on a PC, you want your render cache to set to DNHRSQ. These file sizes will be a little bit lower quality, but will speed up the playback. You also wanna enable your background caching after one second, not the default five. Then once you have done this, you actually have to go to playback, render cache and choose smart. That will actually put a red bar across your entire timeline while it renders the cache, which is basically the reference file for that video clip. If you don't do this, the render cache settings will not take effect. Number six is link and unlink clips. You can quickly unlink your video and audio file clip on your timeline by tapping Command Option L or Alt Control L on PC. Number seven is option Y and command Y. I gotta tell you, I use this one a lot. Option Y selects all the clips from the playhead backwards and command Y selects all the clips from the playhead forwards. Number eight is a very simple one. P on the keyboard, tap P, it'll take your timeline source viewer to full screen. And I am not recommending that you P on the keyboard. Number nine is R, that will pull up the change clip speed slash reverse speed. So you select over and hover over the clip that you wanna pull that up, tap R and boom, it pops up. And lastly, number 10 is L and J. When playing back your clip in the timeline, if you tap L, it will double the speed. Tap it again, it will quadruple the speed of the playback. Again, useful for interview filming. It will just speed through those and you can not waste your time listening to the entire interview uh, at the normal speed. Opposite of that, J will actually reverse the speed of the playback. So if you miss like a really short moment, so if you miss like a really short moment, instead of clicking the playhead and dragging it back, you can tap J and it'll reverse it back at normal speed. And that about wraps up all my top 10 Da Vinci shortcuts that I use on a daily basis. Don't forget that we have put chapter time codes for these shortcuts in the description below, or you can just hover over the play bar uh, on the YouTube video itself. Well, that's it. Until next time, filmmakers, stay creative. <laughs> Till next time, think creative, be creative, red creative. Dude. What's a up? A little on the nose if I a have little to say bit. so, but I'll, I'll roll with it. I'll roll with it. All right, well, we will catch you filmmakers next time.